What's smashing y'all? Have you ever wondered how to make chat commands or how to add them or how they actually work? Well, I deleted all my commands in bot ricks and I decided I'm gonna go over them with you. So let's talk about it. <laughs> the only reason I'm really using bot ricks is because I have my Streamlabs and my stream element bots already set up. And once I set up my bots, I usually don't touch them. But once I converted over to bot ricks, I just really wanted to work on my alert systems and my shout outs. So now I'm gonna show you how to work on your commands. And by the way, you're watching the What's Smashing Web Show. It comes out every Friday, nine o'clock Eastern. And I'm just a content creator that's been doing this for 10 years, trying to give back to other content creators. All I'm asking for in return is a like or subscribe if I help you out in any type of way. Anyways, let's get back to it. Before we even click on commands, I'm gonna click on modules. The reason why I'm gonna click on modules is because modules is where you get to customize your chat alerts. So say when someone follows you, you can customize your alerts. I already customized my follows. So right here you see, I my name is Smash. Uh, my gaming my gaming name is Smash OTG Smash from On Top Gaming. So I use the word smashing. If you're watching me right now on Smashing Productions. This is my actual business name. So if you look for my follow says thanks for smashing the follow button and it says at star on dollar sign your username all right so it's just doing it for the action of the person that did it and that's how it recognizes it that's how it's language and that's how it understands it so right i'm not gonna touch anything else for now i'm gonna press confirm i just wanted to show you this because a lot of people will look for it in the chat setting but here on botrix it's called a module and then you can hit your chat alerts and Basically, it's just showing that it'll pop up in chat when someone does these features. So if you're busy playing a shooter and you hear the alert and you can't really catch the alert, at least BotRix will pop up in chat and then you can still call out the person's name. And I think that's a useful asset. Actually, I use it myself. So I recommend you do too. I mean, uh, once you understand the language of a chat bot, it's basically the same no matter where you go. And before I even add any commands here, I will click on the commands tab. But before I click on, uh, before I add any commands here, I just want to let you know that this is, I'm going to advise you of, um, while you're making content creation, I've been doing this for a while and there's so many bots that come and go that you get tired of adding your commands and trying to rewrite your commands and all those things. And I just want to give you advice. The simplest advice I can give you is to have a notepad or on your phone or on your Google Docs or Microsoft Word or whatever you use the most, have a notepad that saves it. Look, I gave it a regular name. It says custom command for smashing chatbots. Just, it's just that regular name. And then I have all the commands that I use because I've used Streamlabs, I use Stream Elements, I use Mix It Up Bot, I use Bot Ricks, you know, I, I use Nightbot. I use, I use mostly all of them. Like I've gone through them all. And the one thing I wish I learned earlier it's just that when I do get a new bot, hope, I just hope that it saves all my information or imports the information from another program. And a lot of times it doesn't. So I recommend a Word document that you can use and so you can just copy and paste your commands. Okay, so I recommend when you do your commands, attire to your personality. You know, you don't have to follow the same style that everyone else is. You don't have to do the same thing everyone else is, right? So for me, uh, since my name is Smash, I call my community my Smashing community. And I actually treat it like it's a community, like we're neighbors, we're family, we're a community. You know, I wouldn't be able to do what I do without their love and their support. And I want to treat them like they're part of my community. Uh, so when they put exclamation point lurk, if you don't know what a lurk is, a lurk is when someone comes into your chat and they don't really have time to talk, but they're watching or they're listening or they just want to pull you up because they might be leaving the door. And it's a way to tell you, you know, I'm here to support you, but I can't talk right now. But if you do that, please just don't exit out. Just leave your tab up. You're not hurting nobody. Okay. Um, then I have unlurk. So when you come back, so I say a uh, username went to patrol my smashing community. And when they're ready to talk to me again, username came back from a smashing patrol. That's how I know that they're ready to talk to me again. I put uh, a command for a schedule. Uh, smash streams on kick every weeknight from 8 to 11 p.m. Eastern. So if someone ever came in to watch me and they want to know my hours, say you popped in, you liked it, and you're like, damn, I don't have that much time to watch. I have to go. Well, exclamation point schedule, and now you know the next time I'll be live, which to me, 
it's convenient and it's pretty dope i do have a gilded that's my smashing community uh so i even have a camera for that i have a command for the otg discord otg is on top gaming the clan brand community family i have the pleasure of being a co-leader of and a co-founder of and it's probably one of the only discords i'm in so if you want to join our discord you know that's a command there i have sm right for my smashing mods just as you know a small compliment to my mods just to let them know that i'm thankful for them so if they do exclamation point sm smash doesn't do this by himself make sure to spread some love to the smashing mods is that easy um i have a, a link tree which hosts all your um url links so i'll put that in there exclamation point sl smashing links here are all the smashing pages you can find me gaming youtube socials and more link tree that's smashing links right that's easy quote what just came out my smashing mouth type it in and tag a mod and add it as a quote you know that's pretty dope so if someone if you have a moment where you you're flabbergasted or you say something that came out of left field and your community thinks it's hilarious or you think it's funny or to be a troll you know they could write into the chat add a mod and the mod would have the ability to add the quote uh then i have the what's so everyone says hi or they say hello or they hola they say what's up da -da. my phrase even before all my videos that you watch no matter where i'm at i always say what's smashing so ws in my chat what's smashing and i'll pop up the username of who i tag or at or who my mods at or tag all right so i have a phrase don't forget to have a smashing day uh, i put exclamation point sd it says you know question mark uh, then I have exclamation point sub. I am a kick affiliate. So I say, want to help smash on kick, become a smashing sub uh, and support while standing out in the smashing community with custom sub badges and emotes. Simple, plain to the point. If you have a URL for someone to sub to you, then put the URL in there. So when your mods press exclamation point sub, a pop up or anyone in your community, I don't put restrictions really on these unless it's like uh, for, just strictly for my mods. And then the YouTube that you're watching right now, Smashing Productions. It says smash has a youtube dedicated to creating content to help content creators and i'll put it in there and then i'll pop up for whoever's in chat and whoever wants to come watch these self-help videos or me talking about software and content and stuff like that when you're playing a video game and you're raging out you know i have a exclamation point sf smash his focus which is rare give him a second and he'll catch your chat you know and then i have uh smashing info so anyone wants to know about basic information 36 married veteran dad sexy beast full-time content creator you feel me Ooh, you know so i just want to show you that spreadsheet real quick and i'm just show you how easy it is to input it you now it's going to be quick for us to input it because we have this um word doc i mean spreadsheet word document that we have and this is just copy and paste i'm gonna put the command that i want explanation point Learn the variables. I'm gonna show you the variables now. Okay, check this out. So the dope thing about this is that Botrix does actually have built-in custom commands. So you can just go through it here. So it's already built in followage, followers, uptime, top, level, XP, watch time, points. There's a command to explain to everyone what commands you have, which is exclamation point commands <laughs> pretty simple right pretty simple uh then there's the shout out the edit counter the poll you know as when you get more into it you know i just wanted this to be basic touch the front of it you know <laughs> uh, just to cover it you know i'm not gonna get super in depth if you want a video about that you know hit the like put down the comment like smash i need some more let me know i'll put in the work but for this i just want to show you how to add commands and how the commands work all right so it shows you all the variables and how to understand it. Variable is just the name. It'll tell you the two steps, one step, and you know, all these built-in commands. So I'll let you go through that, I'll let you understand it. So I'm going here to commands and I'm hit add. See, even here it tells you you can use these variables, right? So I'm gonna check out my paste again. And the first one I have is lurk. Alright, so I'm do explanation point lurk. And or yeah i guess exclamation point lurk and then i'm just copy and paste my message the in botrix the variable for a user is dollar sign for uh what is like this so i'll go control paste and for botrix when you're using it you don't need it like this right you get rid of the name 
in front of the parenthesis or the whatever that is you put the dollar sign and then i don't stream on throvo i don't stream on twitch i do plan on streaming on youtube so you do it like that you can put a cooldown um i don't really want to cool down it on people to lurk when they want to lurk i want to welcome them back when they want to come back uh, there's no price it's free and anyone can use it so rank it is when what people can use it so do you want followers you use it subscribers moderators super mods you know admins basically and stuff like that so i just leave it on user i hit confirm right here's the dope part i already have my page pulled up i put it up for us here's my kick and in the chat box that i'm covering <laughs> actually let me move myself for you the chat box that i'm covering All right, so now I'm put exclamation point lurk. Oh, sorry, no capital. Let me fix that. See, look, you make mistakes every day. No capital. Firm. All right, so now that we saved it, you come right here, right? And put exclamation point uh, lurk. And there you go. So it's make sure it's lowercase, it's dollar sign, the um, the semicircle, uh, lowercase user, semicircle, and then whoever uses that command, that's the name that will pop up. So if you popped up in my stream right now, you use that command, they'll say that you went to go do a patrol. And then it's the same thing again, right? So now we're just gonna add another command. We'll click on the same things, and this time it's gonna be unlurk. So command unlurk message so remember it's gonna be dollar sign lowercase user and then i'm just going to go back to my paper sorry i put myself in the middle because i was blocking a lot of things i just came back from a smashing patrol i mean yeah that's not a lot to type but i'm just showing you how easy it can be when you do have something that's already set up now straight to my kick Smash OTG came back from a smashing patrol. You see how easy that is? So that's just the concept of it. And when you have something like this, and you know, it's just as easy. Uh, you have the schedule, gilded. So say I want people to join my community a lot, right? I'm gonna take my gilded. I'm gonna copy this whole paragraph right here. And I already know the command that I want. I already know the command. Oh. I already know the command that I want. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go in here. And I'm gonna add. So if you want to join my smashing community, you come into my chat and put exclamation point. Let's put SC actually smashing community, right? And I'm just gonna put paste. Now I'm gonna hit Throvo, Twitch, Discord, shut them off. And then now I have it just like this. And I'm confirm it. You no, know, and it's just that quicker. You put timers. So I could pick whatever I want and I can add, right? And I could put the same exact message. So say if someone doesn't want to look for it, I go to timer, I put the same exact message, join my smashing community, and say I don't want to go off a lot. I don't want to crowd my chat. And then not only that, but when it goes off, uh when it goes off, it's just gonna remind you how long it's been since someone's talking in your chat. I like to distance it out. So hopefully I get a couple people talking here and there in between. <laughs> so uh, let's say I do it like every 15 minutes. All right, and I hit confirm. Now I have a timer for that. So that's a good thing about having a copy paste. I'm literally just dragging and dropping. So since so this one didn't have the link, I'm gonna delete that one. Now I have that individual one and it'll pop up on its own. But now, if you wanna come into my stream and press extra portion SC, Take you straight to my gilded. I click on it, and there you go. I ask you to join my smashing community, and that, that's pretty dope. And that's as simple as it is. And it continues to go, but that's why I talk about the variables because you want to know how to work things. You know, they already have a shout out command. They already have commands. They already have watch time. They already have followers. They already have followage. You know, and if you want to go more in depth to it, you can figure out the polls and the custom commands and the games. You know, it even says here, I have custom commands from chat. 
So if you're in chat and your bot rich is activated, you don't have to be in here. So now let's take this command that they had, right? It's called add command. So we're gonna go right here, enter here, we're gonna put exclamation point, add command, right? That's what it says. Let's just follow what it says. Yeah, add, okay. Well, and what's the next one on the list? Let's see. Uh, OTG, right? So I'm going to explanation point OTG. Actually, I'm going to copy all this. All right, we're going to copy it. Put it into my kick chat. Now, look, we're not even, we're not even anywhere else. We're in my kick chat. All right, and enter. OTG command was successfully corrected. Corrected. Correctly, sorry. Was command was added correctly. All right. So now exclamation point. OTG. Oh wait, my bad. Wait. See, that's the thing. I about copy and pasting. I guess I have to add that too. But I'll fix it later. But there you go. See, and that's how easy it is. And now even if you want to go back to it, look, the variables show you. You know, if you want to delete a command, delete an existing command, right? So I can delete that same command just so I can fix it, right? It says exclamation point del com and I'm gonna put exclamation point OTG with that little bam. And now that one was de uh, deleted and now I can go back to fix it. Add command exclamation point OTG and then paste. Let me scroll up just to get rid of that right here so it doesn't do it twice. Bangers, base to separate that, enter. Now, since it's added correctly, exclamation point, OTG. And it works. And now remember, I have my good one on the timer. And if I wanted to, I can go back here and put it on the timer. It's really that easy. Uh, I know just the process of having to do this over and over and you know moving from different place to different place that's why i tell you and i recommend i truly do i truly do recommend uh, a document i don't care if it's google notepad in your phone or microsoft word once you find, identify your brand and how you want to word things and how you want to address your community uh having this uh document is probably the one best things you can ever do because once you have it even if you just forget or you know you always have your sheet there um i've been to multiple bots and i had to do it multiple times I even had bots mess up on me and I've come back to use them again. And just having that there has been my safe haven. Now, don't be scared to learn the variables. It is a different language, but once you get to understanding it, once you read it and once you get into it, uh, you get to play with your bot a whole lot more. But if you're like me and you're not super wanting to be like that, but you do kind of understand it, that's why I just covered the basics. Once again, you're watching the What's Smashing Web Show. Um, I do this for you guys. I do it for content creators that are trying to learn. And I know I went over it kind of quick, but I didn't want to do a full coverage because I want you to have the ability to play with it and learn on your own. So if you haven't yet, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Um, as always, as always, have a smashing day. I mean, boy smash. Well, peace.